Why GTA 6 is taking so long? As we all know, we've been waiting for GTA 6 even before the Xbox Series X and the PS5 came out. We expected it to launch in 2020, some people maybe even earlier. And it's gone so bad to the point where people are making memes about it, saying how we're gonna have civilization on Mars before Rockstar Games even releases this. However, there are some legit reasons why I think that Rockstar Games has been gatekeeping this from us for a while. Maybe not gatekeeping, but anyways. Number one, tech overhaul. Rockstar is not one to settle for good enough. You know, they made Red Dead, they made GTA, really, really popular games, and they're not gonna lower their standards and make a flop, especially GTA 6. They're obsessed with pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gaming. For GTA 6, they're diving deep into the latest tech to make sure every pixel is perfect. And that means tweaking the game engine to squeeze out every ounce of power um, from the new consoles and the PCs. They're also obsessing over details like lighting, textures, and the physics to make GTA 6 look and feel like nothing you've ever seen. And an upgrade from GTA 5, that's quite hard. So I bet they're just their tech side of things. It's definitely trying to improve and improve. Number two, perfect timing. Um, let's not forget about timing because Rockstar is not gonna drop GTA 6 whenever they're gonna feel like it. They're watching the market, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. They want to make sure that when, G when GTA 6 finally hits shelves, the gaming world is ready and waiting with open arms. It's all about building the hype and maximizing sales, and it takes careful planning and strategy from the marketing team. Maybe they expected the demand of the game to be at its highest in 2025, and after that, they think they won't get as much hype anymore. And that's why they're releasing it next year. Number three, epic storytelling. Rockstar is not just gonna throw together a bunch of missions and calling it a day. They're crafting an epic narrative that will suck you in from the get-go. Think of it like a Hollywood blockbuster, but with even more twists, turns, and more dilemmas. They're writing complex characters with their own motivations and arcs, and they're giving players the power to shape the story with their choices. It's like playing through your favorite movie, and that level of storytelling doesn't happen overnight. Number four, testing, testing, testing. Um, Rockstar knows that a buggy game will sure fire, kill the hype. For example, with Cyberpunk, even though one of the greatest studios made it, they still had hella bugs, and that was one of the reasons the hype was not as high as they expected. That's why they're putting GTA 6 through the ringer of extensive testing. They're squashing bugs, tweaking gameplay mechanics, and making sure everything runs smoothly on every platform imaginable. It's a painstaking process, but it's necessary to deliver the most polished experience that fans can expect. And finally, number 5, world building on steroids. Remember how massive GTA 5's world was? Well, GTA 6 is going to take it up a notch because of the release of new consoles, and even on the Series X and PS5, which are a massive upgrade over the previous generations, they're probably going to even test the limits of those. It's not just about size though, it's about depth. And every building and every street corner, every NPC needs to feel real and alive, even more so than GTA 5. Rockstar wants players to get lost in this world and feel like they're living in another life. And even though the memes kind of try to come at it a little bit, like I think that is Rockstar's goal. And at that level of detail, you really need a lot of time for game developers and graphic designers to design every piece. So there you have it. GTA 6 isn't taking forever for the sake of it. Rockstar is pouring their heart out into this game, and I know they're just gonna make a banger. Um, maybe the GTA 7 is gonna come out in like 2040 or something because GTA 6 is so good and that is what I am expecting. So I think it's gonna be worth the wait. Um, let me let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching.